Hello my friends. Welcome back to Raleigh Art Studios and Art with Ms. Little. Today we are going to learn how to draw a fun fanciful fox. So this is going to be the final product. Um, if you choose to cut yours out and put it on a different colored piece of paper otherwise it'll look fabulous regardless. Before we get started Let's do our warm-up exercises and just take some nice deep breaths with a positive affirmative statement, an I am statement. And since we're doing a fox, let's think of the letter F. I am a good word that starts with the letter F. I am fantastic. I like that. I am faithful. I am fun, I am fabulous. Think of your word, but I'm gonna focus on, today I'm gonna focus on faithful. So I'm gonna sit up nice and tall. I want you to do the same. Take in a deep breath, I am. Hold it, release it. Again, think of your I am statement, I am faithful, take it in. Hold it, release it. And one last time, nice deep breath. I am, take it in. Hold it, release it. That always makes me feel better. Um, the supplies that you might wanna go get for this one are very simple. Start with a pencil, an eraser, and at the end of the journey, if you have colored pencils or crayons, we're going to use really just three colors, orange, brown, and blue if you want to color the eyes blue. So I'm going to start with my pencil. I have my paper here right underneath my subject drawing, and we're going to start with just the basic shape of the face. So I'm going to look at this fox and the top of her face is like the top of a rainbow. So right here I'm just going to draw the top of a rainbow. Do mine nice and dark so you can see it. And then in order to keep the face symmetrical, that means it's the same on both sides, I'm going to draw a really light line right down the middle. So I'm going to take my pencil and draw a soft line right down the middle. Don't do it very, very dark because remember, draw it light till you know it's right and you can always erase it. So we have our semicircle, the top of the rainbow here. We have our line of symmetry down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw this area right in here. See how it curves down to a point where the nose is? So I'm going to take the end of my rainbow line and I'm going to curve it down to that little point. And we'll take this side because it's about the same and pull that down to a point. So I have this beautiful shape here. Now right here in the middle where the nose is, let's go ahead and draw that nose in. It's, it's kind of like an oval, but I'm gonna take my oval and I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit so it has more of a nose shape and not just a round shape. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish the face before I do that, I'm going to pull a short little line down here, and I'm going to give my fox a mouth. And underneath the mouth, I'm just going to draw a curved line for a jaw. So now, what I'm going to do is take this line out just a little bit, and I'm going to pull it down to match the jaw, down to match the jaw. And you see how fuzzy her face is? We're going to go back and add some wonderful little fuzzies 
right back down to that jaw. Some nice little squiggly lines, kind of indicating that this fox has some fur. I think what she's missing now are her eyes because it's so important to put the eyes in there so you can kind of make contact with your drawing and your animal. Her eyes are right in the middle of this section here. We have our line of symmetry. So I'm going to kind of divide this in half and this in half with a light line. So right here, I'm going to draw her eyes. They're kind of at the same angle that I drew this line. Same angle. They're kind of like ovals. So I'm going to draw a nice big oval in here. A nice big oval over here. Try to keep them about the same size if you can. And inside these ovals, I'm going to now draw her iris, which is a part circle. The iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye. And then inside that I'm going to draw another semicircle. This is the pupil. So now she's starting to look like she's an animal coming to life because we have eyes and nose and a mouth. But before I go any further to bring her eyes to life, the pupil, that last circle we drew, is the darkest part of the eye. And to make something look like it's alive, you want to leave a little white speck in each one of them. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to darken that pupil up a little bit. But I'm not going to darken the whole pupil. You see how I'm leaving that white spot in there? I'm going to take this and darken this one too. I'm going to leave that white speck in there. So now my fox is starting to come to life. And if you want to at this point, you can start adding color, but I'm going to wait till the very end. I think she needs some ears. The fox's ears are nice and big and they're almost like triangles and go off to an angle. They're not straight up and down. So I'm going to take this little pencil mark here and a little pencil mark here and then I'm going to draw almost a triangle almost a triangle now I'm doing that really soft because now what I want to do is pull my pencil up round out that triangle and pull it back down again I want to pencil, pull my pencil up at a curve round it out and end it back and then I'm going to pull some of those furry lines up. Furry lines up. And I'm going to add one last little line here and here. And she's starting to come to life, isn't she? I'm going to give her a little squiggle on top. All right, the next thing we're going to do, we had that line of symmetry to begin with. I'm going to start with the body. What shape do you think I would draw for the body? What shape is that? Yep, that's an oval. So I'm going to draw an oval. Can you see that oval? I still have my line of symmetry. What I'm going to do next on either side of the oval are her little back legs. Makes it look almost like a heart, doesn't it? So about halfway down, I'm just going to add a half a heart here and a half a heart here. Now I get to add her legs. And in between her legs is this white area of fur. So I have this line of symmetry. That's where the leg is. And I'm going to pull this fur down. It's almost like a teardrop. So let's pull that down. Pull that down. And I have the line of symmetry here that separates her legs. So I'm going to pull one leg down, give her a little foot, 
Pull another leg down, give her a little foot. And now I have this part of my little fox. Isn't she getting cute? I like her. What's she missing? Yep, this wonderful fluffy tail. This is so much fun. We're just going to pull a big line out that meets at the top like a point. A line that meets at the top at a point. So I'm going to start here and I'll pull a fun line up and then it's going to go back down to here. And then we're going to do the top of her tail with those little squiggly lines. And at this point, what I'm going to do next is take my eraser and erase these little lines of symmetry that I had. And I'm going to trace mine with a marker so you can see the lines really well. I want you to take your time with this. I know it's going to take you a little bit longer than me, so stop it at any point. You can go back and look at some things and change it if you want to. But I'm going to take my marker so you can see the lines. I'm going to trace her a little bit. If you have a marker and after you're happy with what you've done, you can do the same thing. Get that eye. Get this eye. Now yours can be a girl or a boy, but I'm going to make mine a girl by giving her some eyelashes. I'll give her three eyelashes. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to trace this line down. Give her these wonderful furry squiggles right down to her chin. Pull this line down and give her some furry squiggles right down to her chin. I'm going to trace this line. It goes right down to her nose. I am going to trace her nose. And then I'm also going to color it in a little bit with my marker. Now the nose, just like the eyes, are a little bit wet and if they're wet they're going to show a little light of reflection so leave a little bit of white up in there. Give her a sweet little mouth. I can trace these lines a little bit. This line a little bit. Let's trace her down. Give her that leg. Trace these legs. Give her some little feet. Trace her tail. And there you have a wonderful little fanciful fox. Now if you don't have colored pencils or crayons, that's fine. But I might want to plant her in the ground because right now she's kind of floating in space. So if I don't have colored pencils, I can just add some grass on either side of her. And you can sign your name. But if you do have colored pencils or crayons, pull them out. You can color your fox any color you want. It could be a purple fox. But I'm not going to make a purple fox. I'm going to color the iris first.
And then I'm going to color her ears pink. So if you have pink, that would be lovely. If you don't have pink, you can use a really soft pressing red with a little bit of white or yellow in it, and that would be pretty. Next, I'm going to take orange, because this is a red fox. And a red fox isn't really the color red. It's almost a brownish orange. So I'm going to color this with orange first. Crayons would do just as well of a job. I'm kind of coloring her fur up and down because that's the way the fur grows on a fox. It doesn't grow sideways. Then I'm going to add a little bit of value. That means I'm making it a tiny bit darker. And the value is going to be right down here at the nose where that shadow might be. The value is going to be right up here where the head turns a little bit. Right where that head turns and the ear hits it. Change the value by pressing a little bit darker with your crayon or your marker. That rhymes. Make it darker with your marker. How's that? We're also going to add some color down in here. And again, I'm coloring up and down the way her fur would grow. It doesn't grow sideways. making a funny noise on my side. You can probably hear it because I have a canvas behind this as my backdrop. And her legs are a little bit darker than her body. So what I do with that to make her legs a little bit darker, I'm going to take some brown. Again, you can use a crayon or you can use a pencil. I'm just going to darken the legs a little bit. Makes her a little bit more realistic. That needs to be colored. Again, the fur flows this way, so I'm going to color it that way so it looks like the fur. The red fox is the largest of all the fox family. They are mammals, and there are lots of red foxes in the world. So they are not an endangered species. What do you think about that? Add a little bit of value, pressing harder down at the bottom to give it a shadow. I like her. I'm going to give a little bit more value here, right under her neck and here. She's cute. Then we'll take some green. If you have green, and you can start coloring the grass. So grass grows up and down, so I can color that up and down. And I would take that all the way across on both sides. And if you have finished just like me, you'll have a beautiful little fancy fox. Now what I did with this top piece, if you have colored paper at home, this is kind of cool, you can carefully Cut around your fox and glue her to another piece of paper. She can stand out really well like that. But if you don't have colored paper, you can color the background. If you color behind her, 
once again you'll notice that she really starts to pop. Just giving it some contrast and coloring in that negative space. So I would do that all around my fox. And when you have time you can do the same. When you're finished, just make sure that you always write your name on your paper so we know who the artist was. Isn't that fun? Well, I hope you had a good time doing that art lesson with Ms. Little. Keep on drawing. Know that I love you and I miss you. And stay well and blessed. Until next time, my friends.